get a little bit together, warm up to get your kicks down. Ladies and gentlemen, the class of 1997 welcomes you to their graduation exercise. They request that you remain seated during the processional. It will be my privilege to introduce you to the graduates, relating some of the highlights of their high school years, as well as some of their future plans. Families and friends of each graduate are asked to stand as their graduate is introduced.
family of Kyle Allen Foreman. Kyle plans on entering the world of work following graduation and attending a community college part time. He is affiliated with the Casey United Methodist Church and was in the Boy Scouts. Athletically, Kyle has played two years of soccer and two years of basketball. Kyle attended the Huron Intermediate School District Technical Center for two years in auto mechanics, where he was awarded second place in the Vicar Regional Competition at Delta College. The family of Brian and Jacob Groff. Brian has been active in the area of athletics, where he participated in four years of soccer, basketball, and baseball, and one year of track. Brian received all conference recognition in soccer. He was the team's MVP twice. Brian has been a class officer for four years and on the student council for two years. He is a member of the National Honor Society, was on the homecoming and coming, coming home course, the quiz bowl team, and in the drama troupe his senior year. After graduation, Brian will enter the United States Navy, where he will work in the area of advanced computers and electronics. He attends the case of the United Methodist Church. The family of Ashley Rose Harrison. Ashley has been a member of the National Honor Society for four years, serving as its president for senior year. Ashley is a student council president and has been a member of the FHA for four years. She participated in the Earth Vision program, traveling to Cleveland and Washington, D.C. for presentations. Ashley represented Caseville at the Hugh O'Brien Leadership Seminar. Athletically, Ashley participated in four years of volleyball and three years of softball and one year of basketball. Ashley had lead roles during her four years in drama. She has been on the All A Honor Roll for eight semesters and four years in the Future Promise Solvers, going to stay twice. She is a member of the Case of United Methodist Church. After graduation, Ashley will attend the University of Michigan in the Interflex program, which automatically enrolls her into medical school. The family of Brandon Scott Herzog. Brandon came to Kaysel from Alcorn to Bayport Schools in his junior year. He participated in one year of basketball, four years of golf, receiving all conference his senior year, four years of baseball, making the all conference, all district, and all regional team, along with being selected most valuable player. He participated in two years of science fair, was the 1996 homecoming king, and was in the play productions during his junior and senior year. Brandon plans on studying forestry and wildlife management at Lake Superior State University and participated in the 1997 Envirathon in Northern Michigan. The family of Melissa Ann Hewitt. Melissa has been a member of the Caseville High School Band for four years and in the drama for one year. Melissa has been a class officer and on the homecoming court for two years. She received second place honors in the American Legion Voice of Democracy Contest. Melissa was on the cheerleading team for two years, the pom pom team for three years, receiving most merit award her senior, sophomore and senior year. She also played one year of softball. She is a member of the Case of United Methodist Church. After graduation, Melissa will attend Sacramento Valley State University. The family of Shad Michael Pena. Shad has been involved in the restaurant business while attending Case of Public School. He has been active in local science and art affairs winning numerous awards for his talent. He was a member of the Caseville High School quiz bowl team and visited Stratford, Canada with the literature class. After graduation, Shad will attend Grand Valley State University to pursue a career in film production. The family of Philip George Langley. Phil will pursue a career in the banking industry following graduation. He was on the 1997 homecoming court and exhibited in the science fair during his sophomore, junior, and senior years. He enjoyed three years in drama, holding lead roles in the play productions. He came to Casey in his sophomore year, following school at the Fort Campbell High School. The family of Lisa Lynn Mansfield. Lisa has shown much artistic ability as she has exhibited in four years of fine arts fairs, receiving numerous first place awards. Been published in the Hero Daily Tribune, and been a member of the local class, singing for community groups such as the Kiwanis Club. She came to Caseville in her junior year from Elton Pitch and Bayport Schools. She has managed the jet ski rental business for two years and will attend Central Michigan University in the fall to study graphic design and vocal music with the intention of attending the Center for Creative Studies. The family of Jason Lee Most. Jason was selected by the students of Caseville as a 1997 coming home prince. 
Jason attended the Farm Hill Citizenship Seminar during his junior year. He has been a member of the National Honor Society and a class officer for four years, a band for three years, and a drama for one year. Athletically, Jason participated in four years of soccer, receiving all district, four years of basketball and golf, where he was named most improved, and four years of baseball, receiving most valuable player in all conference in his junior year, and all district as a senior. Jason plans on attending Central Michigan University in the fall to pursue a field, a field of sports medicine. The family of Garrett and Robert McBride. Garrett spent the last six years in Caseville. He was a member of the drama troupe and was in the American Peace Speech Contest. He participated in two years of band, one year of soccer, and three years of track, as well as exhibiting in four years of science fair. Garrett had been a two-year member of the Huron County Sheriff Explorer Post who will work as a Marine deputy during the next few summers as he pursues a career in criminal justice at Delco College. The family of Chad Vincent Quinn. Chad has exhibited in four years of science fairs, winning numerous ribbons, as well as participating in four years of art fairs. Upon graduation, he will enter the world of work. He thoroughly enjoyed three years of soccer and four years of arts and track. The family of Corey and Robert Green. Corey is a member of the Good Shepherd Lutheran Church. He was a member of the yearbook staff and the drama troupe. In three years of science fairs, he won numerous ribbons. He thoroughly enjoyed his four years of band, participating in two years of solo ensemble. Athletically, he participated in two years of track, receiving the most improved player award. In addition, he was in two years of basketball and four years of soccer. In the fall, he will attend Central Michigan University to pursue a career in computer science. The family of Mary and Marie Roth. Mary was an active member of the Firefly team, a member of the National Honor Society for four years, and the FHA for three years. She has been active in the visual and performing arts, participating in four years of band where she received honors for solo ensemble and festival. She has shown the local art fairs and has been in a drama troupe for two years. Mary was 1996 homecoming queen. Athletically, Mary participated in four years of basketball two years of track and equestrian, and one year of softball in Mahama. She received most valuable player in basketball her senior year in all conference honors. Mary is a member of the Case of United Methodist Church and active in their youth group. After graduation, Mary plans on attending Saginaw Valley State University to pursue a degree in occupational therapy. Parents, friends, and faculty, after tonight, 20 Case High seniors will become Case High alumni. June 14, 1997 has taken years to get here, 13 long years. But to look back and think about what I've done and where I've gone seems like a blink of an eye. I remember days sitting in class figuring out the time left until the graduation day. But now I'm trying to figure out if I'm ready. To tell you the truth, I think I am. School's been filled with happiness and sorrows, times of triumph and times of defeat. No one has been a bigger supporter of me than my mom, dad, and grandparents. They have been by my side through it all. They never gave up on me. They never told me what or where I should be doing or going in my life. 
They gave me a guiding hand, letting me learn from my mistakes, whether it be through example or late night prayers at my grandparents. I would like to give a special thanks to those people in the audience tonight. Today is the last gathering for the class of 97. We will part with many memories. We will explore all new and different horizons. I will never forget the good times and the bad, for we learned a lot through each other. To the faculty, it was your job to mold us in the most important years of our lives. Nobody can thank you enough because you have given us a priceless gift. Now we take that gift to a higher level. You teach and you touch a life forever. forever. I don't remember where I read that, but for some reason it stuck with me. There's a lot of truth behind that statement. There are no teachers like the ones at Queso. Thank you for your time, your knowledge, and your love. Now I take this newfound knowledge and move on to college, where I'll meet new friends and professors. I'll never forget Queso and where it all started, thanks to my family, my friends, and my teachers. Thank you. He is also a loving and caring father. 
He would do anything for Rich and I. To this day, he still calls me his baby neck. I guess no matter how old I get, I'll always be his baby neck. I know it was hard for my father not to be with Rich while he was at college, changing and growing, but now that I'll be gone, it'll break his heart. Dad, you still have the fish and our dog. And Dad, it's okay to grab a Kleenex once in a great while. We won't tell. Besides my great family of supporting grandmas and grandpas, there are two more guys I would like to thank for supporting me. Rich, my brother. I never realized how much a sister could love a brother. And Shane, you've always supported me in all my goals and never held me back. I love you both and I'll miss you. So maybe my family isn't known as the model 90s family, but I wouldn't change my family for the world. Thank you. tonight, I can't help but think of how fast time flew by. This is the day we, the class of 97, have waited for our whole lives, and now that it's here, it seems unbelievable. I'll never forget the first time I ever realized that I would be a graduate of 97. I was in the fifth grade, and a friend gave me one of her school pictures. On the back, it read, class of 97. It kind of made me laugh because it seemed so far off that I never even stopped to think about it. Now here we are, ready to venture off into the world and go out on our own. As I reflect upon my high school years, a lot of great memories come rushing back. Like the time that Nick Benork and Mike Tilkins got into the drama costumes and put on dresses. A time that was more frightening than funny was the time that Michelle Moore and I got lost in Bay City and found ourselves going the wrong way down a one-way street. Later we decided that it would be better if we didn't tell anyone else about our experience. I guess that I just couldn't resist, and now here I am telling all of you. Another funny time that sticks in my mind is the time that Nikki Slinsky and I both squeezed in a Dan Lasowski's basketball shorts and ran down the hall. <laughs> and of course, I'll never forget picking on Riley Smith in my seventh grade creative writing up class. I don't think he's ever been teased so bad in his life, but the funny part about it is, I actually think he liked it. I'll always remember all the fun I've had being with the volleyball team. <clears throat> Ms. Washer, I don't think I've ever had more fun being on a team as I've had being on yours. You've always seemed to have more faith in me than I've had in myself. You helped me, build, you helped me to build my self-confidence, and I thank you. I also think of all the people that have helped me through these years. I'm not sure that I could have made it without my family's ongoing support and all that I've done. I'd like to thank my parents for being there to listen to all my troubles and sympathize, and Doug for being so understanding and putting up with me this last few weeks as I realized it was difficult. To my brothers, Brian and Dave, thank you for showing me the ropes my first few years into life. And to Celeste, you've been like a big sister to me and I want you to know that your help has been greatly appreciated. Ashley Harrison, thank you for always being there and lending me a helping hand when things got too rough. To all my grandparents, thank you for coming so far tonight to show your support. And as we leave this auditorium tonight with all of our great memories and accomplishments, we must remember that this is not an ending for the class of 97. This is a great beginning. and fellow students. After 13 years of continuous education, we have finally come to this day. We have achieved our goal of earning our high school diplomas. As we prepare to leave Caseville High School to pursue even greater things in life, I would like to take some time to look back on some memorable moments from the last four years and to thank some very special people whom I will never forget. During my years at Caseville, I was given the opportunity to participate in many activities. I will never forget the thrill of cheering the basketball team onto victory in 10th grade. The intensity of those volleyball matches, the tight knot in my stomach as I was waiting for my reading at Silverwood Ensemble Festival, or the immense relief I felt when it came back a one. I could go on and on about memories like these, but then we'd be here all night. Throughout all I did here at Caseville, I always had the continued love and support of so many people who I would like to thank at this time. Mom, 
Dad, I couldn't ask for more loving or supportive parents. Mom, it's been quite a time. It certainly wasn't always easy. Sometimes I think either one of us thought we'd get through it, but we did, and I wouldn't trade any of it for the world. Dad, you couldn't always be there for me physically, but you were always with me in my heart, and you always will be. I love you, Daddy. Katie, I know it hasn't been easy being my younger sister, but I can't think of anyone else I'd rather taxi all over town or argue pointlessly with. Thanks for being there for me, sis. It really means a lot to me. Russ, you've given me your constant support and love. Thank you. I love you. Grandma and Grandpa Finneran, you always took an interest in what was ever going on, no matter how small and unimportant it was. Thank you for your loving concern and support. Grandma Beller, even though you live in Florida, somehow, you always knew what was going on, and you were always just a phone call away if I needed to talk. Thank you. To the rest of my family and friends, no one is luckier than I am to have such loving, concerned, and supportive people in my life. If it were not for every single one of you, I would not be standing here tonight. To my teachers and coaches, as far as I'm concerned, you all deserve the American Teacher Award. You all pushed me to do the best I could, whether it was academically or athletically. I will never forget the way you all went beyond what was expected of you to make sure that we all received the best education we could. I am deeply indebted to you all. And finally, to my classmates. The years that I spent at Caseville High School were the best years of my life, thanks to the kindness I received when I first came here in eighth grade. We've been through a lot together. We've laughed together, we've grieved together, and through it all, we've stuck together. And so as we prepare to leave Caseville High School to go our separate ways, I'd like to leave you with this one simple thought. Though the roads that take us our separate ways may be long in memory, many, the memory of the reward and friendship we share will always keep us close in our hearts and minds. Thank you. Many of us here tonight had mixed feelings about our time in high school, not only while in the classroom, but out of school as well. There were times when we felt like we were on top of the world and nothing could hurt us. Other times we felt stressed out or depressed, and it seemed like we would never make it through. We all remember, will remember our time in high school, the good and the bad, forever. It would be very hard for me to choose a single favorite memory or a most memorable time in high school, because there were so many. I also could not choose a worse time. There are many things I regret doing well in high school, but in the same respect, there are many things I would never change. The most important aspect of high school and of school in general is the people we have met and the friends we have made. As we embark on our separate journeys, we must remember the people whom we cherish most and those who helped us through difficult times. For me, these people are the teachers and faculty of Caseville Public School, my friends, my girlfriend, and most importantly, my parents. They gave me the encouragement and praise I needed to succeed in academics, sports, and other activities. To repay them would be virtually impossible, but to show how grateful I am for all they have done is not. Thank you for your encouragement and for your love. High school is a great ride, but now I must step off this roller coaster on up and on to solid ground. I must leave this place, but take with us the memories. As I reflect back upon my life, I must say I am sad to see it go. However, I do look forward to the future. And hopefully it will be as great as the last 17 years. Thank you to all those who support me and good luck to the class of 1997. my mentor, a role model, an inspiration, and is now a friend. 
She provided academic challenge, a demand for excellence, and an example of integrity that I will value forever. And in my time at Caseville, I've always received the guidance, support, and advice of Mrs. Watts, my mom away from home. It takes a village. And in my village, there are my friends. Brian Graff, with whom I survived four years of Spanish. Nathan Lennar, Stephanie Most, and Nicole Campbell have always been there as we supported each other through Earth Vision. All the members of my volleyball team, especially Carrie Deal, who survived Central's volleyball camp with me. Mike, who's a very special part of my life. Mary Roth, who has always been there to talk with. And Crystal Adams, who made us all painfully aware of our own mortality, and whose memory continues to inspire us in faithfulness. It takes a village, and in my village there is my church. Mrs. Ojada, my mentor for confirmation, has always been there and is a supportive friend. Greg Mayberry, my pastor, married my parents and has been there in times of trial and loss for our community. It takes a village. And most importantly, in my village there is my family. My mom, who has given me confidence and security and who is always there with advice whether or not I want it. My dad, who taught me the value of fun. Guy, the only person who can sometimes convince my mother to let me stop, stay out later with Mike and who always can find five dollars when I need gas for my car and my brother Quincy, who provided my family with laughter, a brave spirit, and a happy heart. So many of you have helped us all arrive at this point in our lives. You've provided us with support, encouragement, and love. Thank you all so much. As I begin a new phase in my life, I realize that I will live in Ann Arbor as long as I've lived here. I'm moving on to another village. But it is with love, fondness, and gratitude that I will remember you all. It took a village, and I'm so glad it was peaceful. Thank you. This is the day my fellow classmates and I have all been waiting for. Well, it's final here and it seems strong now. This is the day when one chapter of our lives comes to an end and a new chapter has begun. This is the day when we remember our elementary years. Our class is well known for our notorious behavior. We've come a long way from elementary. This is the day we realize how much we really do care about one another. I don't know about the rest of my classmates, but I will keep my memories close to my heart. This is the day that I thank all of those involved in my life for the love and support they've showed me, especially my mom and dad. They taught me all the rights and wrongs of life. They praised and disciplined me when it was appropriate, and I learned from my mistakes. This is the day that I realized how right they were when I thought they didn't know what they were talking about. This is the day that high school becomes my past and I'm now faced with college. My future begins here. This is the day where I begin to make all my goals and dreams come true. This is a day that could never be complete for me. Crystal Adams left us over a year ago, and there isn't a day that goes by that I don't think about it. We were practically inseparable. If we weren't together just hanging out, we were talking on the phone. Crystal and I had talked about graduating many times. I never thought I'd be graduating without her, though. I do know Crystal is watching over every one of us today and giving us her blessing. This is the day that I become a Caseville alumni. I have attended this school for 13 long years, and now it's time to move on and start shaping my future. Thank you. year was 1984. That's when most of us began our lives here at Caseville Public School. All of us have endured 13 years of knowledge preparation for our lives in the future. At times I thought school was a cruel punishment, but this punishment allowed us to build a sort of second family. This class has virtually grown up together. We formed friends who have become like brothers or sisters. At times we were able to share anything with them. Like a family, we have shared great times, unfortunately not so good times, like having lost a part of our family. Although I'm glad the stage of my life is coming to an end, it feels as if it can't end. It's going to be hard to imagine a day without seeing the same faces every day. It's a time I will never forget. We have come to a time to move on and start our lives for ourselves. I'd like to thank my family, especially my mom. She has shown me through her own experiences how, how hard life can be. I would also like to thank my friends for making all these years bearable and sometimes fun. 
to all the teachers, past and present, for playing a big role in getting me here tonight. Thank you. Winston Churchill once said, this is not the end, this is not even the beginning of the end, but it is perhaps the end of the beginning. I began my education here at Kaiser Public School, and I also started many friendships that will last a lifetime, including one very special one. There have been many good and bad memories here at Kaiser School. Some have been humorous, and yet some have been quite saddening. These memories, along with Kaiser School, are now a part of me, and I will never forget them. They have helped mold me into the young man standing before you tonight. My mother has played the greatest role in making me who I am today. She's always encouraged me to strive for excellence and settle for nothing but the best. Sometimes I'd fall off course and find a little trouble, but she would always be there to help me learn from my mistakes. My grandparents have also been supportive by either saving newspaper articles that show I've accomplished something or just saying, job well done. Thanks, Grandma Grandpa. My brother and sister have always made it to as many of my games as they could to give me that extra bit of confidence. Yes, we have had our differences like all brothers and sisters, but I still love you guys and thanks for all the support. The teachers here at Queso Public School really get to know the students. It's like I have seven different families besides the one at home. Whenever you need help with a problem, school related or not, they're always there for you. Thanks for being so understanding and patient. Friends, you've always been there to pick me up when I was down. It helps a lot to have friends like you guys. But now it is time for me to step out into the real world where there won't be all the constant support. But I feel I am ready, thanks to all the support I received from my family, all my friends, and the great people of Queso. Congratulations, friends. It's been fun these last 13 years. I wish you all good luck. Tonight is the night that some of us have dreamed of for years. I myself never dreamed of standing here speaking as an honor student. Now, class of 1997, <laughs> I know it's taken us 13 years, but each year has been filled with tender memories and precious dreams. Let's not forget them. Take some time to tally up those dreams and set our sights. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is just the beginning. I'd like to thank you, friends, classmates. Through the trials and laughter, we have succeeded. And without your support, I can only dread the unhappy thoughts. When I step back and look at my most memorable thoughts, I remember tales from a teacher. A story filled with little green owls and their green wear. Although the story was well, rather convincing. I would not advise the rest of the faculty to proceed in believing the tales. I do wish, however, to thank you teachers for instilling all of this great knowledge in me so that I may prosper and succeed as well. Teaching and believing, prosper and succeed. These words can only help in describing the most important people in my life. My mother, father, sister, and my boyfriend. Mom, you taught me many things in the last 18 years. Not just science. You taught me a valuable lesson, love. Through all those tears that you cried tonight, the love in your eyes shines through. Thank you, Mom. Brian, you believed in me when I thought no one else did. You were strong and you held me up above the crowd. Thank you. Dad, you made me succeed. Your words embraced my heart and made it yearn for success. I will strive to succeed for years to follow. Thanks, Dad. Kristen, you're my best friend. And you told me to prosper, probably so that you could come live with me next year. <laughs> Thank you for your laughter and your encouragement. 
Only now, Chris, I have to ask, you are gonna watch over mom and dad, the two troublemakers, while I'm gone, right? Just make sure they stay in line, okay? Thank you to all who have supported me and to my friends. The class of 1997, congratulations and good luck. Ladies and gentlemen and prospective graduates, it gives me great pleasure to present the honor students that represent the class of 1997. These honor students have distinguished themselves as individuals with their coursework at Caseville High School. They have accomplished outstanding academic achievement, and because of this, they will receive special recognition this evening. The criteria for receiving honor student status is as follows. A graduating senior must complete their high school academic career with a 3.0 grade point average or better. At Caseville Public School, this entails eight semesters, or 24 marking periods. The eight semester requirement was developed by the Caseville High School. It wasn't until this week, following final exams, that the final grades and class rankings were determined. Because of the eight semester requirement, the number of honor students and their grade point averages can change. The actual ranking of the graduating class can also change. This truly occurred this year. At this time, I'd like to introduce Mr. Steve Zagorski, Board of Education trustee, who will assist me in presenting these awards. The 1997 senior honor students, Mr. Shad Kanyak, has a final grade point of 3.0. Mr. Aaron Britt, with a final grade point of 3.17. Ms. Carrie Deal, with a final grade point of 3.216. Mr. Jason Moss, with a final grade point of 3.269. Mr. Brian Groff with a final grade point of 3.308. Miss <laughs> Melissa Hewlett, with a final grade point of 3.407. Ms. Mary Roth, with a final grade point of 3.435. Ms. Sarah Finneran, with a final grade point of 3.52.
1997 salutatorian has final grade point of 3.83. She has been active in the Earth Vision, Globe, Band, and the National Honor Society while following a rigid college-bound curriculum. This young lady has taken every upper-level upper math and science class offered at Caseville High School. The 1997 salutatorian is Miss Nicole Campbell. has also followed a rigid college-bound curriculum with classes such as Functions, Trigonometry, Statistics, Algebra, Algebra 2, Physics, Spanish 1, 2, 3, and 4, English Literature, and Calculus. She has received numerous awards for academic achievement and is an outstanding representative of Caseville High School and the community. The 1997 valedictorian is Ms. Ashley Rose Harrison with a final grade point of 3.948. Ladies and gentlemen, class of 1997, congratulations, and I wish you great luck and much success. Thank you.
Dear Mr. Ken Hill and school board members, on behalf of the class of 97, I'd like to present you with our uh, class gift. Our gift is just a small token of our appreciation we have for Casey Public School System. We know it will be put to good use. Thanks, Aaron, and thanks to the class of 97. The class has donated a bench for use in the hallway, and also a tree has been planted in the side out here for in memory of their classmate, Crystal Adams. Speaking for the members of the board, we would like to congratulate you, ladies and gentlemen. In the role that you have chosen for your future, we want to wish you the best of luck. Congratulations. From the time I first started working with this class, I realized they possessed a great deal of energy. The staff of Caseville School has worked hard to channel this energy into producing individuals that are able to face the future and make good decisions. The people of Caseville, your future schools, and the federal and state governments will help some of you with monetary awards in your future endeavors. The following students have received scholarships from the state and federal governments and from their schools. Mr. Al Pittenger, Vice President of the Caseville School Board, will present these scholarships. <clears throat> Ashley Harrison will attend the University of Michigan and its Interflex program in family medicine. The University of Michigan has awarded Ashley the prestigious Colton Leadership Scholarship for the seven years of her program. Christy Bensinski will attend Great Lakes College and will receive a Michigan tuition grant. Lisa Mansfield will attend Central Michigan University and she will receive a Pell Grant and a Central Michigan grant. Nicole Campbell will attend Emory Ridley University in Arizona in the fall. She has received the ROTC scholarship, a Pell Grant, and is a library club alternate and a Caseville Education Association alternate. Sarah Finneran will attend Eastern Michigan University and has received the recognition of excellent scholarship from Eastern Michigan. Sarah is the Eagles Club alternate. <laughs> Corey Reed will receive its and State of Michigan scholarship grant. Corey is a Caseful Education Association alternate. Chad Tanya will attend Grand Valley, and he has received a Pell Grant. Aaron Britt will attend Saginaw Valley State University in the fall, and has received a Pell Grant and a Student Education Opportunity Grant. Aaron is a fire department and a nine-step alternate. Brandon Herzog will attend Lake Superior in fall, and he is an American Legion alternate. <laughs> Jason Moss will attend Central Michigan in the fall. Jason has received a Pell Grant, a Student Education Opportunity Grant, and he is a Caseful Education Association alternate. Garrett McBride will attend Delta College, and he is a Caseful Education Association alternate. <laughs> Mr. 
Carrie Deal will attend the Saginaw Valley State University in the fall. Carrie has received a Pell Grant and a Student Education Opportunity Grant. Thank you, Mr. Pitcher. Over $11,000 of scholarships will be given tonight to the class of 1997. These scholarships come from people and organizations in Keysville that recognize the importance of education and want to do their part to help these young people to further their educations. The students of Keysville, I thank you for your generosity. A new scholarship has been added to the roles from the people of Caseville. The Rose Scholarship has been set up by Thomas and Sander, Thomas Sander and Lillian Rose. This scholarship is awarded after a minimum of a successful semester of college is completed. Last year's recipient was Janine Soper. Applications will be taken from Caseville students attending college in the fall of 1997 after the completion of the first semester. The scholarship will be awarded sometime in late January or early February. The Case Film Fire Department will be giving scholarships this year. Mr. Ken Hill will present these scholarships. To Carrie Neal. <laughs> Nicole Campbell. and Sarah Finneran. The Case for Rod and Gun Club Scholarship will be, set, will be presented by Steve Zagorski, School Bud Board Trustee. To Aaron Britt and Carrie Deal. Mr. Jay Stahl, Caseville Superintendent, will present this year's Kiwana Scholarships. The Rain End Scholarship to Nicole Campbell. <laughs> Scholarships for Academic Excellence to Mary Roth. Sarah Finneran, and Aaron Britt. And Ms. Ashley Harris is the recipient of the Kiwanis Hazel and Queenie Reeves Medical Scholarship. Little Caesars presents a scholarship each year for the students that show the most school spirit. This year's scholarship will presented, be presented by Janice Thomas, the Caseville School Board Secretary, to Jason Lost. The American Legion Scholarships will be presented this year by Fred Forge, a Caseville School Board Trustee, to Sarah Finneran, and Melissa Hewitt. The Library Club would like to keep up their tradition of aiding Caseville school students. Pat Newberry and Nancy Bake will present scholarships to Aaron Britt.
and Barry Roth. Shall we direct the Caseville School Board Treasurer who will present the 1997 Kira Daly Tribune Scholarship to Nicole Campbell. The Caseville Education Association would like to show their support of the Caseville students by presenting scholarships. Shirley Zapansky, the Association of Secretary, will present this year's scholarships. To Shad Pontiac. <laughs> and Brandon Herzog. Rebecca Solinsky will present the Thumb National Bay Scholarship to Carrie Deal. <laughs> the Fraternal Order of Eagles and their auxiliary will be giving us will be giving scholarships again this year. Our students benefit greatly from their generosity. Al Pittenger will present their scholarships. <laughs> to Ashley Harrison. <laughs> and Nicole Campbell. Jeanette Beadle would like to continue to support the Caseville Public Schools, School students. She would like to present the George D. Beadle Memorial Scholarship to the following students as an investment in their futures. Mrs. Beadle will give last year's recipients a monetary award to help with their second year in college, Kristen Lasowski, Michael Mayberry, Carla Pittenger, and Jeanine Soper. The recipients of the 1997 George D. Beadle Memorial Scholarships are Aaron Britt. <laughs> Carrie Deal. <laughs> Sarah Finneran. A trust fund was set up by George and Lula Ninestead. The proceeds from this fund are used toward a scholarship each year for Caseville students. John D. Vincentis will present the 1997 Ninestead Scholarship. <clears throat> to Jason Most. I can only express my gratitude to the people of Caseville who have supported these scholars. Your caring and generosity help us to maintain a great school district. To the class of 1997, remember, your life is like a coin. You can spend it any way you wish, but you can only spend it once. My last bit of advice to you is to spend it well. Goodbye, good luck, and a special hug to the class of 1997.
Thank you, Lisa. Believe I Can Fly epitomizes the philosophy of this class. If they believe they can accomplish something, they will show you they can. And when they do it, they will complete it very well. 
An example of this philosophy is within this class of 1997. This is one of the first classes to be tested for the high school proficiency test, as well as the last class to be tested for the MEEP exam. I'm sure you've all been reading about them. We, they have been tested galore. All of these people met the requirements of the MEET test. And for the high school proficiency test, they all exceeded the state average. You can compare their scores with any school in the state of Michigan and be very proud. Their leadership has extended throughout our school system. And on behalf of the staff members and their fellow students, I express to each of you my deepest appreciation. We believe you can fly. Mr. Hill. Mr. Hill and members of the Board of Education, these young men and women have completed very successful careers as students here at Caseville, exemplified by the number of awards and scholarships received tonight. In addition, they have completed the requirements established by the State of Michigan and the stringent requirements set forth by this Board of Education. I ask that you confer diplomas to these seniors. Aaron Timothy Britt, son of Mr. and Mrs. Arthur Britt. Christy Lynn Buczynski, daughter of Miss Kathy Buczynski. Nicole Lacey Campbell, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Clyde Campbell. Margaret Mary Klaus, daughter of Mrs. Nancy Malat and Charles Klaus. <laughs> Carrie Ann Deal, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Douglas Deal. <laughs> Sarah Helen Finneran, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. John Finneran. Kyle Allen Foreman, son of Mr. and Mrs. Carl Foreman. <laughs> Brian Jacob Graf, son of Mr. and Mrs. James Patterson. <laughs> Ashley Rose Harrison, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Guy Nanny and Mr. James Harrison. Brandon Scott Herzog, son of Mr. and Mrs. George Benorick and Mr. Scott Herzog. <laughs> Melissa Ann Hewlett, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Charles Hewlett. <laughs> Chad Michael Kenyak, son of Miss Marie Kenyak. Philip George Langley, son of Mr. and Mrs. George Langley. Lisa Lynn Mansfield, daughter of Miss Janet Richards and Mr. and Mrs. Charles Mansfield. Jason Lee Moss, son of Miss Karen Eisentoski and Mr. and Mrs. Jerry Moss. Garrett Robert McBride, son of Mr. and Mrs. James Foster, and Mr. Dennis McBride. <laughs> Chad Vincent Quinn, son of Mr. Michael Quinn and Miss Susan McElharty. <laughs> Corey Robert Reed, son of Mr. and Mrs. Robert Reed. Mary Marie Roth, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Richard Roth. <laughs> Seniors, I ask that you please stand, turn your tassel. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce the newest alumni of Caseville Public School, the class of 1997.